After Jimmy Kamakaris' celebrated presidency, the office of Daikaiju president has remained vacant since January 20th, 1981. Despite this apparent executive void, life has not ended as we know it. Now a couple of upstarts with delusions of grandeur want to undo decades of political progress. Just who are these lunatics? I, Monsterious Xavier, humbly accept the Kaiju Kratikin nomination for president. And I, Gabriel Gilda, arrogantly accept the Sea Monsterian nomination for president. The mudslinging began almost immediately. You're not even a sea monster. Racist! Eventually they held a debate. I support health care for everyone. Yay! But everyone has to pay for it, no matter how great the financial burden or else. I think that our citizens have been granted a wide array of rights that other societies could only dream of. Yay! Well, I plan to do something about this catastrophic surplus of civil liberties. Outside the debate hall, third-party candidates were summarily obscured from public perception. But I'm the Viridian Party candidate. Yeah, we are a de facto two-party system. A two-party system? Er, it's like the rest of the world is looking at us and saying, Congratulations, you're almost a dictatorship. Yeah, yeah, delightfully subversive. Now leave. Then came election day. I can honestly say, if I weren't voting for myself, I would vote for you. And I can honestly say, if I weren't voting for myself, I would have just stayed in bed. And the results came in almost immediately. It was a tie. Each candidate received zero votes. I think I may have misunderstood the punch card. I think I may have accidentally tried to vote in a photo booth. As such, the seat for Daikaiju president remained vacant, and years of continued peace and prosperity reigned. Monster X and Gabra reunited as friends, and I had a tube worm sandwich for lunch. It was delicious. Now, I do appreciate the kind words, but that wasn't that awesome.